When everybody is on that treasure, running up and down, and somebody is there looking for food to eat. They have this unusual calmness in their mind. Like as if nothing is going to happen. That was, the, that was what Jesus was doing. It was, the Bible says he was in the inner part. He was in the VIP section of the sheep. And he was sleeping. And the disciples were running up and down. Now, three questions. Number one, didn't the Holy Spirit he tell him that there was a storm? Question, let's ask ourselves. Didn't God, he actually is God, did he so, was, this was a man who raised Lazarus from the dead though. This was a man who, who come all kinds of miracles and yet there was a storm and he was sleeping. It teaches us three things. Number one, please note this now. Number one, in the midst of your storm, as long as you have Jesus, there is safety. Am I speaking to somebody? If the midst of your storm, as long as you have Jesus, because Jesus was in the sheep, and because he was the prince of peace, he was the prince of peace, he was calm. He doesn't have to move because his life and death. He, 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 so he was so calm because he knew that as long as he is in that sheep, the sheep cannot capsize. Am I speaking to somebody? Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? You need to understand this message. When you have Jesus, no matter the storm, there is safety. If you don't have Jesus, there is trouble. Am I speaking to somebody? That is why sometimes when something is happening to some people, some things, you know, storm comes, some run mad. Some storm comes, some people don't feel, some people don't feel like their world has come to an end. Some things will happen to some people, and some people don't feel they, are, they nothing can work again. Listen, when you have Jesus, there is safety. Please write down at the back of your number two. Jesus was sleeping in the midst of the storm on the in the boat in the ship. The Bible says he was asleep. What was he doing? He was meditating. He was what? Meditating. Now, whenever there is a storm in your life. The first thing you have to do is what will Jesus do if Jesus was here? Whenever there's a storm, what do you do? You have to meditate on the promises that God has for you. Meditate on promises that God has for you. That is why whenever something happens to you, whenever challenges come to you, there's a loss of job, there's, a, there's, a, there's something happen. what you do is start thinking of a Bible verse to encourage you. The scripture must come out from you. So start thinking of what a, memorize a promise. So if there was a, if for instance, somebody has left us, and then what did the Bible say? The Bible said, I will be with you till the end of life. Even though your father and your mother forsake you, I, the Lord, I will never forsake you. Oh, is that not what the Bible says? You hold on to that. There is no, there's no food. Everywhere is down. There's no money. And the people are, you know, disturbing you. Then look for a scripture to calm yourself down. My God shall supply all my need according to his riches in Christ Jesus. You calm down. You needed money. There is no money anywhere. Everybody you have gone to had disappointed you. And then you remember now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Ephesians 3.20 According to the power that worketh in us. You come down. Scripture to queen. Like chloroquine. Amen. Scripture what? Scripture to queen. You drink it. Two of us. Oh, that road, people are, there's arm rubber. And all of a 
sudden you find yourself in the midst of that road. And robber here and there, they are shooting. And the scripture come. And the Lord said unto Moses, My presence shall go with you. And I will give you rest. And walk, even though I walk through the midst of armed robbers. I shall fear no evil. You want it to be like a joke. And they are shooting and you are walking past. And there is no harm. There's no harm. There's no harm. So we think of his the problem is that we don't think of his promises. That is why the devil gives us options. That is why the devil gives us his own promise because we don't think of God's promise. Anytime, please write this down. Anytime you don't think of the promises of God, the devil gives gives you his own promises. Every time you don't think of the promises of God, the devil gives you you get the promises of the devil. And what is the promise of the devil? The thief cometh, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. <laughs> 